The Trump administration's zero tolerance policy toward illegal immigration led to the separation of about 2,500 children. Their parents, some asylum seekers, were going through a legal process. President Trump ended the separations after a public outcry. Then a judge in San Diego set today as the final deadline to reunite them. The emotional scene is being played out across the country as children are reunited with their parents after weeks of uncertainty. Romela Victoria Isuela didn't know where her son was being taken when she last saw him two months ago. He's one of the more than 2,500 children initially separated by immigration and customs enforcement agents. It's a logistical nightmare that's involving families and little young children, babies, toddlers. Betsy Plum is the vice president of policy at the New York Immigration Coalition. They can say they've met the deadline, but we all know they haven't. And this nightmare will continue to play out. And there's no sugar coating that you can put on that. Late today, the government announced that more than 1,800 children have now been reunited with their parents. But 700 children remain separated from their parents after the deadline for a variety of reasons. Because they crossed the border without their parents, or their parents have been deported and can't be located, or the parent has a criminal record. The United States government is committing an act that is absolutely one of the most inhumane acts, which is to take babies from their parents. Right. And it is important that we all stand up and say we as a country are better than this. In Boston, Attorney General Jeff Sessions defended the Trump administration's tough stance on immigration. You do not get to come to America unlawfully. Let's just make that clear. This system is built on uh, making your application and waiting your turn. Now, as we mentioned, this is far from over. Lawyers for both sides are expected back in court tomorrow. The question, of course, what action, if any, will the judge take after the government missed this deadline for reuniting hundreds of the children in custody?